Hello, I'm Samantha from the Fun Robotics Network. Today on FTC Essentials, we're going to dive into some of the resources available for teams looking for information and inspiration. From robot build guides to programming, content creators to CAD and team management, there's a lot to cover. Let us know in the comments other resources you may know about, and let's get started. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad-free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the Join button below to get started. First up on our list are a few very important resources. These can all be found on firstinspires.org. The first of these is the Competition Manual. Use this link to open the most up-to-date version of the manual. The Competition Manual is packed full of valuable information. Please read the manual to ensure you have all the information you need for the game tournament and awards. I recommend that students and technical mentors start with the arena, game, and robot sections. The manual is updated throughout the season, so be sure to check in on the new updates when they are released so you don't miss any important changes that could affect your season. The Q&A is also important to check in on as it can clarify game rules that are unclear. Links to both of these can be found back on the resource library page. Back to the Game and Season page, first has a link to a variety of resources. Everyone will find something useful here, but coaches especially will want to check out the team management resources. Here you will find links on registration, competition, mentoring, and team finances. These links can also be found through the resource library. Starter bots are game-specific robot designs made by vendors using their respective build systems. These robots are there as a starting point and are intended to be modified and added upon. I recommend these for teams who do not know where to start or want to get something built right away. So take a look at the starter bot for the build system you have and see if it is something that will work for your team. And sometimes, you might just want to build part of it, for example, the intake or the arm. Build instructions and code can be found through the links on FIRST Robot Building Resources or directly on each vendor's site. Game Manual Zero is the place to go for robot design. Notable are their pages on specific types of mechanisms commonly used in FTC. I recommend for students to look through the mechanisms early in the design process to learn about possible mechanisms and their pros and cons. And of course, there are so many other things here as well to check out. Here at FUN, we have a number of shows you may find informative or entertaining. Behind the Bot is a great resource to learn about specific robots straight from the students themselves. You can learn about the design process, how subsystems integrate together, and good details about how the mechanisms work. Snapshot is the one minute version of Behind the Bot and focuses on a specific aspect of a bot. Look through the playlist, easily find a video on something you want to learn more about. I love learning about robots through these videos, as you can see the robots close up and running while being explained in detail. FTC Top 25 is a show where you, the community, ranks teams that competed that month. This is a fun way to see what other teams are doing. Robot in 30 Hours is a challenge some teams and group of mentors take on. They spend the 30 hours following the game reveal building and programming a robot for the new game challenge. Many document their process and post it to help teams with inspiration and research. I recommend this especially for new students as it is a great way to see what is possible with a robot and especially so early on in the season too. Fun supports a group of teams doing Robot in 30 Hours and that content can be found on our YouTube page. Other teams can be found by searching FTC Robot in 30 Hours 2025 Decode. The FTC Open Alliance is a group of teams who post about their build process as a resource to teams. Along with blogs, teams will do videos here on FUN throughout the build season, showing their design and iterative processes. I recommend this for those who want to dive into the details of the build process. 
check out their website for links to what the teams post this season and the playlist on Fun's YouTube channel for the videos. Broken Pratt is a content creator on YouTube who creates amazingly informative videos on robotics topics for FTC. Some playlists I recommend are 1. Robot Building Tutorials from Beginner to Competition. This covers topics such as linear slides, rack and pinion, and cable management. Second is Learn Java for FTC. If you are learning how to use sensors, program controls for a gamepad, or use vision, certainly check this out. And importantly, Robotics Team Success, Leadership, Strategy, and Soft Skills, for the skills that are just as important as how to build a robot. For those 13 years and older, there is the unofficial FTC Discord. This is a public Discord server aimed at those in FTC and provides channels for specific robot topics. Help can easily be found by posting in these channels. So if you have questions on rigging your elevator, the bug in your code for your claw, or how to make a feature in CAD for your drivetrain, or anything like that, this is the quickest and easiest way to get help. An essential part to CADing a robot is having all the files for the parts you have. You don't have to CAD all the motors and brackets you own. Those files are already out there. Files for all the parts in the FTC build systems can be found on each supplier's websites. They are found in the description of the item listings, and some vendors have a CAD page with all the parts. Also, this is true of many other vendors, not just those in the FTC market. Download the CAD files and import them into your software. I highly recommend keeping your files named and organized from the beginning. Every vendor has resources on how to use their build system. Studica Robotics has a documentation page with a link to all of their documentation. Their YouTube channel has videos on some of their parts and they have recordings of seminars that go through how to build, wire, and program a robot using their build system. For the Robots build system, Andymark has a web page and videos on how to use the system. These go through all the components in the kit and how they can be used. Andymark's YouTube channel has videos on all sorts of topics related to Robots. GoBuilda has product insights, which are labeled CAD drawings of various ways each piece can be used. These can be found on the products page on the website or all together in one massive PDF. They also have a YouTube channel with videos on their parts and kits. For RevDuo, Rev Robotics has documentation on their website with detailed pages on structure and motion components. Some of these get really in-depth and apply to robotics in general, not just their system, and therefore are really good to learn from. Rev Robotics YouTube page has helpful videos on their starter bots. For Tetrix Max, Fitsco has the Tetrix Max Builder's Guide which goes through tips on how to use the components and also has instructions on some fun robots to build. Their YouTube channel has videos on their components and some tips and inspirations. You can find links to all the resources covered here in this video in the description below. So teams, remember, don't be afraid to ask for help. There are plenty of resources and people out there. And most importantly, have fun. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back here throughout the season. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interests, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu first.